What is the state of the conservative movement in America in 2014? I'm going to ask Chicks on the Right. No disrespect, that's the name of their blog. That's what they call themselves. <laughs> so joining me now is Miriam Weaver and Amy Jo Clark, co-authors of Right for a Reason, Life, Liberty, and a Crapload <laughs> of Common Sense. Was it hard for you to say that? <laughs> I had to say uh, chicken, you know what, and I wanted to say the real word, but I couldn't say it. So you, you can't can say, say it. Earlier. It's I always say hard it. for guys it to say that. You know what, you, uh, you are sort of, I think he's a libertarian, but you're saying what Rand Paul says. Mm -hmm. Rand mm -hmm. Paul said that the Republican Party, would, the, you said, uh, he, I'm, I'm quoting here, or paraphrasing, he said it sucks, or the... Our brand, yeah. our, our brand, brand sucks Do you right agree now. with that? Yes, we do agree with that. Why do you say it needs a makeover? Because right now, I think when people just think of conservatives or the GOP, they immediately conjure up an image of an old white dude. No. And so part of the reason that we started our site and the reason that we wrote the book is to sort of reject that stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us who you are. You have a blog and you also do, you do a radio show? We have a drive time radio show in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. We also have a column in the Indy Star. Um, and our website we started almost six years ago mm -hmm. because of the reason that, that Miriam is talking about because we saw a lot of the stereotype that um, you know the conservatives or conservatives were just old stodgy white dudes and we're not old stodgy white dudes. Surprise! You're, you're not. <laughs> no, we are not that. Yeah. So, so we wanted to dispel that that myth that we were all that. So back to my original question, you said in need of a makeover. What exactly does the party need? Oh, it needs to get better messaging. It needs to be able to deliver what conservatism is really all about in a much more effective way. And that's where they've lost their way, frankly. Yeah. Um, and they've lost women. They've lost minority voters as a result. Yeah. And to be more on the offense rather than the defense, because we do a lot of waiting for the messaging to be served up, mm -hmm. and then we get on the, def the defense, and we want to be more on the offense of serving it up. It seems to me, as someone, as I, I'm not... I'm not political, and people will go, oh, my God, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> I'm not left or right. I think that the Republicans are do, do themselves a disservice. They seem to trip over themselves, and they can't, they can't do it right. They have such an opportunity with people of color, including uh, Latinos, African Americans, because Democrats take that vote for granted. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they're not, many times, people of color are not served by the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. And I think the Republicans, it's a real, they have a real opportunity there. Why don't they seize that opportunity. We don't know. They can't help yeah. themselves. <laughs> I know we talk about that all the time on our website. It's just we're it's almost as if we you know, we're just silent. Mm. It's we just wait. And that's the thing is that we're not on the offense. We are too much on the defense and we just wait. We yeah. wait for that messaging. We're just we're too silent. We don't we don't get out there enough. We don't use pop culture. We don't use social media. We don't do enough of the things that I think that we could be doing mm -hmm. all the time that the Democrats do so but well. In all honesty you don't embrace no, I'm not saying you, but the party doesn't embrace uh, a lot of people unless you are, unless I you fit a certain I, I think mold. that's a misconception. I think that they do, but they're not good at telling that story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, for example, I mean, there's four Republican governor women compared to one Democrat. And, mm -hmm. and that's not something that people hear a lot mm -hmm. about. Okay. 